Hello, 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 and welcome back to the third video of this particular series showcasing the PK's balancing mod. When I left you guys, I had cut to an angered whore that had found me while sleeping in this car. Well, we shot it up, and the car is relatively intact, so if I can find some pliers or a wrench and a working battery, I can drag it back to this vehicle. We'll see how that goes. For now, let's just mark it on our map. And with that, we can move it along, I suppose. I did a little bit of reading after it woke me up. Because, like I said, he's an insomniac, and you can't really choose when to sleep if you don't have drugs. So, you can see there's little scraps of flesh all over the place. Some of the animal zombies I made drop scraps of flesh where they were. It's... It works okay in most cases. At least it's not coating the ground like it did when I first added them. But you can see where he's been, and it's a good indication that he's around, period. So, as you can see, we still have a couple shots with our shotgun. We're still doing okay with food. We need a little bit of water, but we're not in any real problems yet. The vehicle like I said, is probably going to need to be checked for this security system that you see. But if I can get a battery, we can start going. So, I am now at, what is it, level one and a half mechanics. Half levels don't count, but just read a little bit of book at a time, you'll be fine. So the first thing we should do is take a drink while we have the water. And that's clean water. No, no it isn't. Well, if that happened, maybe I used another dial. Whichever the case is, let's keep going. Yes, so I did add some penalties for poison. And it's fully possible to have uh, radiation, to get health loss, and it lasts for up to an hour, maybe a little more in some cases. So it's not a great thing, but it's a thing. If this takes too long, I'm probably going to cut, let's say right here, until I get somewhere. Because I don't need another 40 minute video of the woods. Just nothing to showcase. So, I did get a little bit of feedback for the other videos. One of the things was to get rid of the lingering desktop. The uh, toolbar, menu bar at the bottom. And another thing was to deal with the background noise. There's a little bit of white noise. It's not necessarily something I can control, and I was really hoping I didn't have to filter anything out. A little bit of white noise is fine by me, but if I can make an effort to filter it out, then it'll happen. Anywho, I do hope this leads to a town. It should, as far as I know, but boy, is this a long, winding path. Does not help that I'm not even getting to a river or anything like that. Here's a tardigrad. It's a water bear, just a little bugbear thing. Kind of looks like a cuddly caterpillar, I guess. Not very dangerous, not very aggressive, but it can do quite a bit of damage if you're not careful and you mess with it. So, it's a good, good, good source of food if you want to take the time to kill it. We have no need for it right now. Now that I'm no longer poisoned, I'm probably going to eat this food. Okay. We're doing okay. We probably can use a drink. There we go. Still not a whole lot going on at the moment. 
I am uh, doing this instead of going off to the uh, gym or running or doing anything like that today. It was a relatively rough day for me. So, I'm going to take it easy and have a little bit of fun. I uh, This vehicle should work by all my... Yeah, almost all my calculations. We don't have a wrench. I could take the battery if I had a wrench, but I don't. It also lacks any car parts, or tires rather. So I can't do anything with it, unfortunately. But what I can do is siphon some this diesel into a little cup for me, and I can either use it for a Molotov, or if I find a uh, diesel car truck, I can use it. So it's not quite as bad as it could be. Northeast tough zombie. Oh boy. I was hoping that they would be spawning because there's a loot drop somewhere, but no. I've gotten a few questions about that. I did change what random things will spawn where and how frequently, but I didn't remove any one thing. I just made less positive spawns. That makes sense. There's more things like portals, craters, roadblocks, whatever happens to be the case. But I didn't actually make it harder in that regard. No, 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 no. I, my skill is just not high enough, it seems. Yeah, it's only at level 1, if I'm not mistaken. What have I got for my hands? Uh, we're doing okay. I could probably get by with a light glove, so let's do that. We don't need to drop any of the hand wraps, but I may as well. It'll be fun. And we continue along our path. The, uh, the path to Air's a town right up here. I have never actually tried to swim the river, and I'm not exactly keen on doing it now. I don't think it would work. And he has no swim skill, and I don't really care to level it up, so... Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a, a bridge at this point. We've been following this for so long, I can't imagine not being able to get over there. But uh, we want to be careful, because the hordes are in the river, and we are right next to the river. Let's even move a tile away. Just kind of give me a little bit more security, maybe? I don't know. Now, what I did to the spawns is I removed, in the main zombie spawns, the default spawn of just a green zombie. And what that does is it made it so that in the core game, every time something was picked to spawn, but nothing could be spawned, it would spawn a zombie anyway. And I removed that. And so there should be a lot less straggling zombies. And I have noticed a decrease in the population of zombies to the point where I actually added a few buffs to the groups. It works out okay for me. I wish, like I said before, that there were more of them. But for the moment, it is working out. I just might swim this river. I don't really want to do this. So, I hope you can hear my frustration at it. Solar cars, for the first time in a long time, are actually viable. So if I can drive this bad boy, and it looks like I can... Oh, it's got no, uh, no real power to it, but it is a vehicle that is going to be drivable. Da 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 da. So let's drop our stuff quickly. And I guess I could talk about car organization. Typically, I put cash cards, lighters, and stuff in the driver's side door. I put food and books behind in the trunk. 
I will put the book in the trunk as well. I put gas and other things in the back with the strings, the rags, all that. There we go. Here we go. Medicine that's extra will go back there. I don't really have a lot of extra medicine at the moment. And yeah, you're more or less looking at what I'm doing here. I'm going to keep the rest of this stuff on me, but I can drop some of this stuff. Makeshift knapsack can go. Can I get rid of this trench coat? I can, and I will. Still a little over encumbered because of that. Oh, I would rather drop the vest at this point. And we want to move it over there because I want to be organized. Everything should be sorted by category. This way I can find everything I want to when I want to find it, which is important to me. Let's eat the last of this cheese. Yes. And from here, I can either search up north or try to drive the car into the river. And, well, I have a car. Let's not drive it into the river willy-nilly. Let's see what's up north. No, I don't expect it to last for terribly long, but, yeah. Let's see what happens. Well... Home Depot. I actually have a lot of decent luck finding things here, in general. This one has bad... no wheels. This one has no wheels. This one... it's not doing so hot. But it would run, based on what I saw this one I can't even see. I'm tempted just to move on. This one's got a gas tank, it's got tires, it's got security system. This one would run if I had a pair of pliers. I could try to get into the Home Depot. I might, but let's not do that quite yet. And no, 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 no. I might come back to the Home Depot. I don't like going in there. There's really not a whole lot that I care to loot inside those things. But needs must when the devil may, or however it goes. Another Home Depot. Well, let's see what happens. Bridges are a fantastic place to pick up. Weapons and to pick up a car. If you manage to get... What are you doing? Did I... Did I drop the baseball bat somewhere? I did. I left it over there, didn't I? <sighs> okay. So, bridges are a great place to get weapons and a car. If you have gas and a spare battery and the time to put it in, can find a decent car on any bridge. Take a metal rod, dispose, drop, pick up, and we'll wear it, whatever. And so metal rods are one of my additions to the game. What a metal rod is, is a very slow, very heavy, somewhat cumbersome, brutal strike and block weapon. That's a combination you don't see terribly often, and it would be good if it was lighter, when it was lighter, it was manageable with about 11 strength. But now there's definitely better weapons out there because I made it heavier. Still, it's worth noting that it's a pretty good weapon. It's something I would use all the time. Now, in this scenario, I don't want to sit there and fight them. But what I can do is use my knowledge to my advantage. The rubber hose will survive at least one burning. And once a guy dies, yep, the rest of them can be kited into the fire. And look at that. With almost no effort from me,
can you get in the fire? I want to be sneaky. I have just eliminated all of my problems. If I had a spare battery, I could swap it out to that. If I had a pair of pliers, I could do that. I don't. So I won't. And this place is milling with zombies. You see that? That is something I don't want to see. <laughs> the old rules of zombie spawns still apply. If you don't walk into the area where the horde is, it won't spawn. It'll keep moving, and eventually it will despawn completely. Oh, glorious. Flaming eyes are still flaming eyes, and I haven't actually touched them. They're still very annoying. Let's go north. I very much am willing to go out of my way to stay away from them. They'll give you the fungal infection as a new character, and you'll have no chance of curing it. I mean, uh, if, if there's one thing that really irks me, it would probably be flaming eyes. And I know I'm not alone in that opinion, so... <laughs> Silly things. Okay, it looks like we found a town, and it looks like I probably didn't want to do this. Let's get out of there. I'm trying not to smash into anything. Although it's probably not a big deal if I did. Still, I managed to stay away. In my condition right now, I wouldn't be able to kill this hollow without trying to burn it to death. It would definitely ruin my day. Especially with a slow iron pipe like I have. It would rip through the armor, no problem. So we're going to not do anything about them. We ignore them. They don't exist as far as I'm concerned. Okay, well... I still need a pair of pliers. And... Great. Well, let's take care of the horde first. Horde. A little group of friends. Okay. The boomers will not go into the flame. So that's why you will need to take them out like that before the other zombies come by. Ooh, yes. I like to wear the duster more than I like to wear the trench coat. Other people seem to prefer the trench coat, which is fine. That's a thing. It's not my thing, though. Or is bubble wrap. Yep, inconsistent gear. It's still an error that pops up because nobody's doing any work on the filthy clothing mod. Which does make me sad. If I knew more about how to do it, I probably would do it myself. Okay, what can I weird? Yep. Yep. Let's get rid of the single barrel shotgun now that I have a Remington. Let's fully load that bad boy. And let's wear it. Let's pick up the metal rod and wield it again. And let's collect all of our goodies. Now, while I'm here... It's a habit of mine to quick save before I do something that, you know... It's time-consuming. It's what it happens to be, man. Okay, I'm not food-poisoned. I don't have any morale, though, so I have no hope of leveling it up quickly. Okay. Take the vest. Let's take the rest of this stuff. Unfortunately, the duster, the everything else, is really going to make carrying this stuff around a pain. But, you know. Oh boy. I don't want to actually get into town. I don't have anything. What I want to do is sit and do nothing. Um, yeah. Not exactly an ideal place for me. 
I could consider trying to hide one of these stores or something, but not really what I want to do. Let's just accept that combat's gonna have to happen. Just remember to keep checking the fire and making sure that the certain zombies don't drop all their ammo in there. Because things like soldiers will drop all the ammo in there and it'll just be a bad time for you. And you do have a little leeway with the fire. I've used... Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay. I think we know what we're going to do now. I have the pair of pliers, which is all I need to go back and swap batteries out. Let's go take a peek, see? It's a real shame that all the cars I know about are over here instead of up here with this. Because otherwise I could probably manage to split myself out. Fire. Always fire. It's the simplest way of dealing with zombies. I don't have backpack, I don't have a good melee weapon, and the dog. Go away. Well, that worked out pretty well. Let's let the blue jay pass. He's chasing the uh, kitty cat, which is funny. Uh, I wish there was a way to make them more defensive instead of aggressive. But, you know, it's kind of funny to see them chasing after things that aren't me. Um, I think I might have to get onto the road to see what's happening. I need to find a yeah, battery now that runs. But uh, we're not doing so bad right now. It's not necessarily ideal. Let's put the zombie in between this pig and me. And wait for it to catch up because it wants to be a slowed in. Here we are. Hey, what did he drop? Nothing I need to be concerned with. Let's keep moving along. And that's what I'm talking about. See the pig? He got himself hurt. He got a little scared because he's a mammal and mammals are scared of being hurt. And that really quelled his aggression. Which, which is nice. Okay. Well, that looks like a pretty good... Yeah, he don't like you. Um, let's use a flashlight. Let's eat. Down some whiskey. How am I doing? I am feeling a little better about my life. And we can spend two minutes taking that apart. 175. Now you want to remember that because... It's important for some reason now. I don't know. There's really not a good way to say it. There's no justification for it as far as I'm concerned. It's just... Now there's an arbitrary uh, requirement for the battery to start up these things, and most cars don't have the requirement. Uh, 175 charge is good, though. I mean, it's not really as bad as it could be at all. I'm trying not to drop any of this stuff I don't need to. But it's not really easy. Yes, I see you. Thanks for being a guy. Come on. I don't want him making noise. I don't want to deal with him. I just want him to go away. The rain is going to really quell what the fire can do. Which is why I waited for him to come right on top of me. You'll see the fire burns out very quickly. Now, how's this one doing? Good gas tank. It's got a security system. It's got a bad car. If I could get this to run... I'd be okay with this car. It has the security system though, and I don't really want to do that. Hmm. Yeah. It's not going to be any better if I replace the battery. I would just still have to hotwire it, which would only be a pain. I wanted to see... Uh, I wanted to see if this would heal itself. But it wasn't. So, you know. There is this bridge. Hopefully there will be something on it, but if there isn't, I'm going to double back down south. 
just to try to stay away from the zombies. <sighs> Humvees used to be my favorite vehicle to jump into and grab, but they only go 70 miles an hour. That's ridiculous. It's nonsense. And I'm not going to bother dealing with it. It had concussive grenades in it, though, so I may want to go check that out. This is going to look like a good enough vehicle for my purposes. Let's take out the battery with our pliers. It takes two and a half minutes. Let's install this... No, let's install this battery. One of the better changes that were made is the ability to do that. Change batteries. Oh no, don't do that. Oh, without a gas. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> you can select which tank you're going to fill. Fill the one with more health. There's no reason to tempt fate. Uh, speaking of no reason to tempt fate, let's see if I can't get some gasoline. I'm gonna go to the FBI car. I'm gonna see if I can't make it. Please make it. That would just destroy my dreams. Oh, I'd be so sad. Come on. You can go a little faster, though. Uh, it is more fuel efficient to go faster, as far as I understand it. Oh, love of everything. I don't know if I actually had enough uh, charge to redo it, too. Uh, one of those... Very awful things. Siphon in the container. Siphon in the container. At the very least, if I can get it back started, then I can just move along. Whiskey, yes. It's whiskey-powered truck. Wouldn't that just tickle all of me? Yeah, there you have it, folks. Oh, that's just awful. It's one of the rudest things this game can do. Just straight rude. Well, no sense crying over spilt milk, I guess. Not like I can't do it again, and it's not like this card isn't going to be here. We know it works. We just need a battery for it now. In fact, I'm going to go and leave some stuff here. Because I don't want to carry all this junk around. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This, of course, does mean I have to come back, though, if I want any of this stuff. Actually, just in case I meet somebody who wants to trade or something nice, I do want that on me. Yeah, that stuff always fetches a nice price from the NPCs. They don't seem to understand that it's not terribly useful for anything. So, there's no reason for me to, you know, not have it. Let's see what I can drop. I will drop one of the towels. I will take the other one off explicitly. Mm, we're probably going to leave the duster, too. And something else. Gotta, maybe I can take off the Remington. Still heavy. Hmm... Hang on. <sighs> I might just have to bite the bullet and accept that I'm heavy. I do need the peroxide though, it's kind of healing. I will not accept it not being there. So we're going to pick up the hose and we're going to pick up the peroxide. And we're going to head off. Whatever. I guess I'm going to keep walking this way. Hopefully there will be something on the other side of the bridge. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't have anything made to protect me from the cold, but... Yeah, we're doing okay, I suppose. The metal pipe 
it gets better when you have a higher skill and you have higher strength, just because that's how bash damage works in general anyway. And Brutal Strike is a decent enough skill, and block is most certainly useful. Um, it could be argued that the metal bar shouldn't have block, but it won't be argued by me that it shouldn't, because I happen to like it. Oh, for the love of everything... Shuddering nonsense. I don't. I could probably remove them and nobody would cry. I dislike them. I dislike all the pain they bring because if I want a wilderness start, I don't want to die of fungal infection. Just because some stupid flaming eye 50 dials away saw me. And see, here's what the sling does. It's just a little encouragement. Can you come here? Okay, well that works too. Wow, I don't like the coyotes, they're annoying, they always are, but the slings make it so much easier to deal with them, silently too. Well, I seem to have had the misfortune of not finding a car along this road. <sighs> should probably just, uh, cut off the recording and start it back up when I find a car or head back down. Here we go. Do I got something? We got a mink. Who's our good little mink? Drop the sling. Take it out. Come here. Of course, I get near to something I want, and the whole world has to explode with just terror. Yeah. The real beauty here is... Well, the car would be nice if it actually had some sense to it. Yeah. Well, I got it out of the car, so I can at least drag it back. If a battery is badly damaged and you desperately need a battery, you can take it out of the uh, bobber. Take it out of the vehicle. Batteries that are on the ground do not lose charge. So there is that. This has 115 charge. I want to know what the other one has, but it won't tell me because it doesn't like me. A hundred charge. I don't think that's quite enough. <sighs> Visibly sign. King not giving me a break at all. It's got a bad alternator. But it has a security system, too. Well, I'm gonna go check out the gas station, and... If that doesn't work, then... I'm gonna go cut it and bring you back when I'm over at the Home Depot. To the fire that I lit on the webs, and... Web fires spread very, very, very fast, so it worked out really well for me. And I am hallucinating now, by the way. So, oops. Fortunately for me and everyone else, we all know what is and isn't real out here, so none of it's going to be a huge deal to me. Still. I want to be careful because I am walking around with a car battery instead of a weapon. I had to drop the uh, metal rod. It wasn't that great of a weapon anyway, but ah uh, shit. I mean stuff. Yeah, I mean shit. Thank you for being a jerk. I'm going to kill you now. Or not. Oh hey, I'm bleeding all over the place. And I'm infected on the torso. I guess I didn't notice that. 
Okay, there we go. And we just want to keep walking. Nothing bad happened at all. We have a lot of pain now because of no particular reason. Well, because the moose came by and the moose is a jerk. None of these things are real. But they're all going to do their best to stop me from getting over there. And of course the moose was real. Am I tipsy? No. So I should probably drink anyway. Here we are. Doing okay. That raccoon or skunk is going to piss off those dogs. Yep. But luckily I was able to get away before any serious business happened to me. That coyote is coming back for seconds. That cougar shouldn't be real, but... Oh, for the love of everything. Yeah, you're real. Thanks for being real. Go away. You're not real. But gosh, if the rest of the things aren't real. I'm having a bad time now. <laughs> you know, it seems to happen like that. Everything's going pretty well, and then I go out to do something silly, and... Now I'm getting murdered by everything. And so, yeah, the pain has caught up with me. I'm not exactly doing so well right now. It's all the moose that keep throwing me all over the place and trampling on me. Oh, will you stop it? The hallucinations are very, very annoying. And they were never not annoying. But now that you don't even know you're hallucinating, if you don't pay attention to the text, it's much, much worse. Now, the flaming eyes, in case you don't know, I'm going to spoil it and tell you, they give you a fungal infection if you're not careful. That moose needs to stop chasing me up to that thing, because I will just shoot it, it will be done, that'll be the end of it, go away. It's, it's trying to get me. <sighs> The last thing I need is acid rain. And to crave more alcohol? Why? Didn't I just drink? <sighs> when it rains, it pours acid rain. It's fine. I still have a shotgun. Acid rain will actually stoke fire. And outside of some horde, zombie horde, I should be okay. Acid rain is capped at about like 90 pain or something like that. So I'm going to replace this car battery, start up the car, and uh, I think that's real. Gosh darn it. You know, it just had to be one more thing. Come on. Again, because it is raining out, I'm going to actually... Well, I'm going to stand there and let him get himself killed. Burnt cargo pants, we'll take those, because we can turn those into cargo shorts. And, you know what? It's automatic laundry. It repairs, it refits, and cleans up the item. So, there's no complaining here. Now, this vehicle doesn't have a very good alternator, but you know what? For the moment, I don't care. I need to get going, please. I want to use the car battery in my hand. And that's very important because... Well, the other one doesn't have enough charges. Oh, it's out of gas. I can fix that, though. Okay. Let's carefully drive it over here, so that I might siphon this gas into my tank, so that I might it has no liquid siphon. 
Okay, so what am I going to do here? I'm going to go head back to that gas station. So I guess you guys can watch that before I go. But, uh, there's really not a whole lot going on. It's coming to the second night. I got mauled in the face in my right arm by a couple of moose who had no manners. And I spent the day running back and forth on car trips. And this is surprisingly common because of the new car mechanics. Before, you didn't use that much gas. It wasn't that big of a deal. I'm going to try to avoid turning on my headlights as long as possible because this alternator's junk and I don't want the battery to die. In fact, I'm probably just going to leave the car running and go inside. Or start a car or whatever. Or start a fire and read. Yes, I'm going to start a car. And we smash into the thing. I don't care that much. Nope, nope. nope, 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 nope. There we go. I could have easily avoided those things. I know, I know. But it's really not that big of a deal. Let's use my towel. I'm doing a little happier. I just think I want to go to sleep and let this character cover. The only book he has is under the hood, and I'm in no particular hurry to read the book up, since I won't gain anything anyway. And uh, I will, if I sleep in the gas station, which I might, have to do some uh, zombie killing, pulping, rather. Which isn't a terrible deal. I can live with that. But uh, the most important thing is I have a vehicle, it works, and the cargo uh, trucks, or flatbed trucks rather, have some of the most storage of the game for vehicles, the default ones. They are definitely good cars to get, especially if you don't plan to actually modify them in any serious way. Yes, nearby flatbed. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just going to keep trying to fill up this fixed gas tank as much as possible. And there we go. And I'm going to quickly loot the inside of the gas station. I have the space for this, right? Not really. That's okay. I can have myself a glass of water and no food poisoning, thankfully. Uh, I need to drop some stuff or find other stuff. So let's do that real quick. I have my own methods of organizing my stuff on this truck. And I don't know how much sense it'll make to other people, but it doesn't really have to make any sense to anyone. So we want the duster, and, well, the duster will do fine for now. Yeah. The main thing is that now I have a construction book that I don't care about, or a fabrication book, maybe. Let's drop the western book. I don't know why these funsy books are in here, because they're not very funsy, and they're not really worth your time to read. Maybe you want to roleplay, and that's cool. But... Let's not pretend that they're good. They're not very good. Roadmap is good, though. Oh, boy. Yes. Having fun times now, man. Let's just quickly loot the place. In fact, I think I'm going to stay here and uh, try to make a little stuff out of this. Now, I will have to pulp these zombies, like I was saying before. Not a big deal. In fact, I can use their body parts, which I will probably do off-camera. I'll butcher the zombies, I'll cut up their clothing, have all the fun times. Uh, yep, yep, and you can see my battery is starting to die. Again, it's not a big deal. And we've got some more stuff. So let's turn off the headlights. Let's turn off the engine. Let's head in... Well, what else do I need on me? No. Let's put on the stuff. And there we go. Now I have everything on me inside. I can rearrange it at my own luxury inside or in the daytime. And I can sleep off all of this terror. 
which I'm sure I feel. Okay, guys. There's another single barrel shotgun. Spoiler. There's always going to be single barrel shotguns in the rural gas station. On the beds. Whatever reason. So, you guys have yourself a good time, and we got ourselves